All right, so you have many examples in the book. They are, as I explained last time, all designated. That's how you look at them. With the big red sign on yellow called do it. So this simple example is asking the following. Classify each cost as a period or a product. Okay? Can you actually read? Can you see this? Period or product. And then if it's a product cost, indicate is it the direct material, is it the direct labor, or is it manufacturing overhead? So now it is time for you to practice. And you say a bicycle. Bicycle company has these costs. Number one, tires. So what is tires? Is it a direct material? Very good. We're going to find out. You always get the answer after, okay? So, direct material. Advertising. What is advertising? Yeah. Is what? No. Advertising and selling and administrative expenses are advertising up here. So advertising, let me move up a little bit for you. Yes. Advertising is a period. It's a non-manufacturing cost. It is part of the selling and administrative expenses. Okay? Usually advertising and marketing is part of the selling expenses. Very good. Number three. Factory building depreciation. It's the depreciation of the building. What is it? Factory. Well, what kind of? Is it? First of all, I gotta say, is it manufacturing or is it non-manufacturing? Manufacturing or non-manufacturing? building the factory factory is part of the manufacturing but the manufacturing is indirect so it becomes manufacturing overhead well you got the guys take notes because then we're going to see the answer and see if we got it correct or we got it incorrect right right now we guess okay we use brain okay we think next one salary of factory manager what about factory manager what is it? Yes, what cost is it? No, no, no. Only the worker is direct labor. So the factory manager is manufacturing, but it's indirect. So it becomes overhead. Okay, we're going to see the answer, right? Huh? It's indirect labor, it's overhead. We're going to find out, okay? We're going to look at the answer. Next one, office utilities expense. What is the office utilities expense? It's administrative expense, so it's a period. Period expense, administrative. Okay? So when you say, uh, when you have the this one, we say period expense selling. This one is period expense administrative. Next one, salaries of employees who put tires on wheels. That's okay. It's a direct thing. Next one, spokes. Spoke is a little part which you use maybe on the tires or you use on the direct. Well, could be indirect, but most likely it's direct. Next one, salary of factory maintenance employee. Now, maintenance is not direct. So it becomes indirect, which becomes factory overhead. We're going to find out the answer, okay? And then the last one is candle bars. 
direct material. All right, let's go to the answer and find out. You're going to tell me if we got everything correct or incorrect. Okay. So, the period cost will be office utilities and advertising expense. We got the incorrect. Okay. Next one. The product costs will be tires, direct material. We got that one. Factory building depreciation is overhead. That's correct. Manufacturing overhead. Wheel, oh, was there a wheel lubricant? Yeah, I didn't see it. Okay, it's again, the lubricant is indirect, so it's indirect material, so manufacturing overhead. Salary manufacturer manager, manager is again overhead. Employees who put tires, direct labor, correct, right? Spouse, direct material, also correct. Salaries of factory maintenance employees, the maintenance employees is manufacturing overhead, also correct. Last one, candle bars, direct material, okay? So, we got them all correct, all right? So that's example number one. Let's move on to more examples. We continue looking here. Let's first do it. We're looking for. Okay, do it. Okay, so the information available is for the company. This is for the month of March. See, for the month of March, they give you March 1, March 31. This means raw materials inventory. We call this 12,000 beginning inventory and 10,000 ending inventory. Now, you have work in process. Beginning inventory and work in process. Ending inventory. Okay. So let's see what else we got. Okay, let's make okay. They purchased materials for ninety thousand. Okay. They had a direct labor of seventy-five thousand. Okay. And they had a manufacturing overhead of 220. So, what's the cost of good manufacturing? So, you begin first with the beginning inventory working process. Beginning inventory working process is 2,500. Okay. Now, you get the direct materials. Direct materials, again, confusing. Direct materials, you have beginning on March 1, 12. You purchased 90. This is the 90 over there. So you have for the month total 102. The ending inventory is 10,000. So 102 minus 10 is 92. Okay. So, you got direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. 92, 75, 220. So, direct material, manufacturing, total manufacturing will give you, the total cost of working property will give you this one over here, 387. So, these are the Total manufacturing cost. These three will give you 387. And now you say, oh, at the beginning, the working process was 2,500. This month, we add 387. The total for the month is 389.5. Okay. And at the end of month is 4,000. Let's take a look at where we got the 4,000 from. 
Okay? You see where we get the 4,000. Okay? So, we're in process inventory. March 31 is 4,000. So, you begin work in process inventory, you begin at 1,000, you end up with 4,000. Let's look at the answer back. Put up. So, here is 4,000, the ending one, okay? And that's it. So, you have work in process. So, you see, first one. We do the first calculation here. This is very important, right? They say they were confusing. All right. You always do the things first on the left. So this is the first step. You do first this one, okay? This is on the left. From this, 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 and this, you get this number. So you always do the raw materials first, okay? So remember, step number one, raw materials. Step number two. What's step number two? Huh? Well, this is step number one to get here. Step number two is this one here. And this over here is the total manufacturing costs. Okay? So, step number one is the materials. Step number two is this one to get here. And this is step number three. So that's the way to think about it. Step number one, step number two, step number three. So step number three is beginning working process, 2005, ending working process is 4,000, and the total manufacturing cost, 387, so you get to 385. Okay? And well, that's it. That's the second example. Let's do two more examples. Okay, here they give you certain examples over here. Oh, you got a labor cost per door? Direct labor. Okay, they just give you the answer. Uh, you got material cost per door, oh, that's direct material, okay? So, you need to look at these examples to understand them. What's the next one? Depreciation on factory equipment. Well, the depreciation is usually overhead, okay? What's the next one? Property taxes, again, but this is on factory building. If it's on the factory building, becomes manufacturing overhead. But if it's the depreciation on the administrative building, will become period cost, okay? So, when it's a depreciation, you have to ask depreciation of what? Is it the manufacturing or is it administrative, okay? Next one, advertising cost, that's easy. Advertising is usually part of selling, and it's usually a period cost. Next one is sales commissions. Sales is, of course, part of sales, and it's a period cost. Next one is manufacturing salary. Well, manufacturing salaries, again, well, it depends for what? Manuf uh, all sorts of things. Maintenance. Maintenance salaries, maintenance is always overhead. Maintenance means it's an indirect labor, okay? For the maintenance. So, you will always have the production and you'll have maintenance. The maintenance is indirect, it's overhead. Next one is salary of plant manager. Plant manager in general is production in manufacturing, but it's in there, okay? So, plant means part of manufacturing, but the manager means in there. So it becomes overhead. Let's see what else we got. The cost of shipping three hundred doors. Well, the cost of shipping three hundred doors, you see it's part of period cost. 
So this is part of the sales cost. Okay. All right. Let's find a few more examples because I can see your. Okay. That's not very Let's. Oh, they don't have. Now, this do it is a simple description with a simple concept. You read the description on the left and you see what's the answer on the right. So, what's one? One. All activities associated with providing a product or Service. Value chain. So it's number. It's term number. Term what? Which term? E. E. So one e. What about two? Two. <laughs> A method of allocating overhead based on each product use of activities. He made it a lot. A. A. Two, A. Three, systems implemented to reduce defects in finished product. What do you mean to reduce defect? To lower defect means higher quality. DQM. So it becomes three, three, D. Right? What's four? Performance measurement approach. B. B. Four B. Yeah. And five? C. Five C. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Let's take a look. One E. Okay. 